Welcome to another video from Guelao 60. Good morning. It's uh, March the 27th at about 7 o'clock in the morning. I woke up to uh, an email, not an email, a WeChat uh, from my lovely wife Wei Fong in the other room. We're in quarantine. It is day 9 of our quarantine and usually these things are put off uh, a couple, two, three days because I've got to not only record the videos but I've got to edit them, upload them, uh, do thumbnails and all of the things that go along with making a, a video and putting it up on YouTube. Okay, uh, but this morning is a little bit different. This is, uh, as I say, this is uh, March 27th. Uh, we just had an announcement uh, from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and People's Republic of China in the National Migration Administration on temporarily suspending the entry of foreigners holding valid Chinese visa and resident permits this morning. Yes, as of, well, let me read it here. The, Demar the, the Department of Consular Affairs, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, in view of the rapid spread of the new crown pneumonia epidemic worldwide. China has decided to temporarily suspend entry of foreigners with currently valid visas and resident permits in China from 0000 on March 28th, 2020. In other words, midnight, March 28th, 2020, uh, suspend entry of foreign foreigners with APEC business travel cards. Port suspensions, 24, 72, and 144 hour transit visa exemptions, Hainan entry visa exemption, Shanghai cruise visa exemption, 144 hour visa exemptions for foreigners from Hong Kong and Macau and Guangdong and Guangxi exemptions for Asian tourist groups, entry with a diplomatic official courtesy or C visa is not affected. Foreigners who come to China to engage in necessary economic trade, scientific and techno technological activities and for the urgent humanitarian needs can apply for visa from China embassies and consulate abroad. Entry of visa issued by foreign affair foreigners after the announcement is not affected. So if uh, they issue a visa after uh, March 28th, then it's not affected. So what this basically means that um, if you're a foreigner on a resident permit, if you're a foreigner that has a valid visa, um, they're suspended. You're not coming into the country. And I think what happened here is China has this CV under control in the country and they're seeing the only cases that they're seeing, new cases that they're seeing in China are the cases that are coming in from other countries. Okay, what does this do to, to Chinese nationals that are abroad and, and wanting to come home? Uh, Chinese students, Chinese businessmen, uh, people that uh, are on, say, permanent resident cards like uh, my brother-in-law Ping in uh, Vancouver. Uh, nothing. If you're a Chinese uh, national uh, and you're holding a Chinese passport, you can still come to China. The only problem is that if you're coming to China, how the hell are you going to get here? Because if there's no foreigners coming to China and only Chinese, there's going to be very, very few air carriers. I predicted this. I predicted this. It was going to happen that everything is going to be shut down. I told Alex four days ago, three days ago, that between three and four days, the world is going to shut down. And as soon as China shuts down, the rest of the world's going to follow suit. So you wait and see. One more day? Let's, let's, let's see if everything just goes poof and shuts down. Uh, I believe it will. I guess we got back to China in just the right time and I'm not sure how this is going to affect Wei Fong and I because, you know, our, our but you see, I know a little bit more about immigration than most people. You see, a visa is a uh, a ticket to the show. A visa gives you entry to the show. It's not a status granting document. So if that visa has already been used and you're already in the show, can they kick you out of the show? I don't think they will. I think that they'll, they'll leave us in the show here uh, until our visa expires. 
but then again once we're already here the damage is done so I that's that's where they say entry of visa issued by foreigners by foreigners after the announcement I, I think they mean uh, to foreigners after the announcement is not affected I think that if push comes to shove and we want to stay we can go to the immigration department go get medicals and, and whatever and apply for a resident permit why do I say that uh, be, because uh, Wei Fong and I are a little bit special in, uh, in the terms that we have a senior uh, family member by himself here in China and there's a sort of a mandate by the Chinese government not to leave the elderly alone in in their old age because it's just not good the dementia the just the loneliness and all of that that goes along with it and we've run on uh, resident permits uh, for well this is the first visa that we've had in probably seven or eight years now we've always run on resident permits when we're in China uh, so we should be able to go down to the immigration department, get our medicals, uh, apply for resident permit, and get a resident permit once because we're already in the Chinese field type thing. Uh, I'm going to be looking into this really, really closely over the next month or so, and I hope they don't boot us out of the country. I don't think they will. So uh, for all you Chinese nationals that are out there trying to get home, the window is still open for you. For all you foreigners that thought that you were going to be coming to China over the next uh, two, three, four months, it's not going to happen. Uh, this this country is on lockdown. It's going to stay on lockdown until the rest of the world gets their act together. If the rest of the world doesn't get their act together, then the Chinese uh, borders will be closed. See, the last time the Chinese borders were closed like this was when you got it back in the hard core Chinese communist days when China was was uh, uh, secluded from the rest of the world before 1978 yes so this is sort of a milestone this hasn't happened in China in uh, freaking 50 years 52 years guys um, man I guess Wei Feng and I our timing is is basically perfect Fred <laughs> You just made it under the under the wire into into China, and I think you you, you need to uh, uh, maybe go and talk to your immigration people and say, hey, how can I stay longer? Because uh, it's either stay here or go back to where things are really hitting the the you know everybody in the Western world their back out is up against the wall. In the United States, the CV uh, cases just surpassed that of China so um, now the United States of America is the epicenter for the CV epidemic and uh, I don't see by the way that they're dealing with it that it's going to uh, slow down anytime soon and I think the Chinese government has seen that the Chinese government has has watched what's been going on around the world they're not stupid by any means and uh, they're seeing that uh, oh, oh my god the rest of the world is going crazy they're not taking this seriously they're not dealing with it there and uh, people are are actually running to China because China is the safest place on this planet at this time boy I guess things turn around 180 degrees in a matter of three months where everybody was leaving China because China was not the safest place China was the most unsafe place in the minds of everybody and yes I Guilao 60 was guilty of thinking that way also back a couple of months ago when Wei Feng and I headed for Thailand over to Alex's place in in Bangkok but uh, I shook my head while well, we both shook our heads we looked around we said no oh, no uh, I think leaving China was a mistake so we bolted back here now eight days ago we landed here in in China knowing that it was the safest place to be plus I sort of smelt this coming up where they're gonna lock the place down if you don't go now back to China you won't be able to go back to China and uh, I guess that's I was right and Wei Fong was right because she was saying exactly the same thing holy smoke so uh, we are in China we have uh, our quarantine we're on day nine but as I say, I'm going to try to upload this video and I'm going to try to upload it today and make sure that it gets out there so everybody out there understands that 
China's on lockdown. China's uh, visas have been revoked. Any visa from uh, tomorrow night at, at midnight uh, till who knows when is revoked. All your resident permits that have uh, been issued are revoked, temporarily revoked. And you see, the temporarily uh, part of it is, is a really important part because in immigration, if they revoke a visa, that's gone. That you have to go reapply. A temporary uh, revocation, revocation, whatever you know what I mean, uh, uh, means that that they're just sort of suspending those visas for a, a time period, undetermined time period, mind you, but still a time period. So the the visa hasn't been revoked; it's been uh, temporarily suspended. There's a there's a big difference there. Uh, people don't have to go and reapply if they've got a 10-year visa. Uh, as soon as the, the foreign affairs people in, in China decide that it's safe to start letting foreigners in again, uh, those visas will be valid if there's still time on those visas. If there's no time on the visa, got to go reapply. Same thing with the resident permits. So uh, so that's what I woke up to this morning at uh, about uh, quarter to seven. Um, I'm, I'm thinking that uh, the boys, uh, we have uh, our Saturday morning live stream tomorrow morning at, uh, at 9 o'clock. So on uh, March the 28th, yes, uh, D-Day for uh, the, the shutdown of the lockdown of China is, uh, is tomorrow morning at, at 9 o'clock. And I think uh, I've, uh, I'm going to ask the guys to change the topic of that that live stream from xenophobia to the the Chinese lockdown and hopefully everybody will agree everybody will get up to speed everybody will I think everybody on you know Matt from J.O. Nation Daniel Dumbro uh, Alex from Reporter Fine Media and, and myself we all have something to say about something as important as what has just happened that China has shut down their borders to all foreigners not just one or two, but all foreigners, unless you're a diplomat or some special brain surgeon scientist that, uh, that's uh, crucial to the, the Chinese way of, uh, of living. Hmm. Scary, eh? I don't know what to think about this. Anyway, there's an, that's another video from Guilao60. If you like this video, as always, like, comment, subscribe, push that share button. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the bell. Don't forget to resubscribe. Don't forget to make a comment and never forget to put a couple of dollars on the children's Patreon account. It's for a good cause. It's for poor rural Chinese children that just need a helping hand. You can give them that hand. Help out. Thanks for watching. Bye now.